රටක අවශ්‍යතාවයන් පිළිබඳ අවබෝධයකින් හැම ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨයකටම අපි කටයුතු කළා The president said the government would serve all sectors equally with proper awareness as farmers are assisted fishermen are also being helped to improve their standards a fisherman is considered as a naval rating it was after this identification that the marine university was established to enable the children of the fishermen to graduate the president pointed out that the government had already undertaken the task of developing the country earnings should not be wasted but spent on the future of the children he reminded that the people are indebted to the country in which they are born api laba gani me wada pilawalakata aithiya laba gani me wada pilawalakata api yanawa emana me kaale tuladi me rata sangwardhane kiri me wada pilawalata api ata gawwa tamange jeevithaya vitarak nevi api dana gannu ona api hambu karana salli nasti karanna nevi tamanta sapawa jeevithaya gata karanna tamange daruwa wenu wenu daruwa ge adhyapane ta daruwa अनागत्यूमी The president was addressing fishermen of the Hambantota district. It was organized at Madamulana. Further addressing the fisher fraternity, the president emphasized the government was clearly aware of the needs of the masses. The ocean should be conquered to win the future of the country. The president reminisced the appropriate measures adopted by the government to build a fisheries harbor, identifying the needs of the fishermen. The A9 road which connects the north and the south will be kept open 24 hours a day 7 days a week from midnight today. The announcement was made by senior presidential adviser and parliamentarian Basil Rajpaksa. In March this year almost after 24 years the government reopened the highway for transport services. Last month the government lifted all restrictions imposed on civilian travel on the highway. enabling citizens to travel freely to and from Jaffna and other parts of the country accordingly civilians were permitted to travel along the road between 7 am and 6 pm the influx of southern tourists to Jaffna increased with the reopening of the road between 1000 and 1500 southerners traveled on a daily basis along with a sprinkling of foreign tourists with the sudden increase in business in the peninsula Shops in Jaffna which normally closed by 7 pm are now open till late night. Further expanding Uttaru Metro ties Wasantham FM and Wasantham TV can be received by the civilians of the north. The Palali Transmission Center which expands communications within the Jaffna Peninsula was declared open under the patronage of chief of the Uttaru Wasanthe task force and senior presidential adviser and parliamentarian Basil Rajapaksa accordingly the northern polity can view the Wasantham TV Tamil channel a sister channel of the independent television network from today on UHF 25 FM 97 will transmit the Wasantham FM Tamil radio service the civilians of the north also have the opportunity of viewing the Netra TV channel 
and are listening to the Tamil service of the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Expressing his views on the occasion, Vassal Rajapaksa said that the government had today succeeded in ensuring the access of information to the northern civilians. Minister Douglas Devananda, Northern Governor G. H. Chandrasiri, ITN Chairman Anura Sirivardhana, Chairman of the Sri Lanka Rupavani Corporation, Arya Ratna Atukala, Jaffna Commanding Officer, Major General Leonard Mark, and Brigadier Prasad Samana Singha were among those who graced the occasion. You are watching Prime TV News and still with news at home. Several members of the Tamil National Alliance have pledged their support to Sarat Fonseca. This was revealed by TNA parliamentarian R. Sambandan to the media today. Our parliamentary group has unanimously taken the view that we will support General Sarat Fonseca at the forthcoming presidential election. TNA parliamentarian and presidential candidate M.K. Sivajalingam said that although some of the members had agreed to extend support to Sarat Fonseca, it is not the general stand of the party. This decision had been taken only by 10 TNA members. It is not the common stand of their alliance. Particularly, they do not agree with the view of the JVP. Supporting Sarat Fonseca means supporting the JVP. Mr. Sivajalingam said he does not endorse such a stand. He added that a majority of the TNA members had expressed opposition to Sarat Fonseca. Meanwhile, Minister Maitripala Sirisena said that TNA during the past did not have the ability of taking serious decisions. The party has split into three groups. A majority of them are supporting the president. Today, these parliamentarians cannot bring the 21 members of their group to the same stage. Minister Lakshman Yapabevardhan said the TNA had decided to support the common candidate on several conditions. The masses should be aware of these conditions. In addition to the revelations made at news briefings, the secret conditions should also be disclosed. Indicted Galleon Hedge Fund founder Raj Raj Ratnam face expanded charges of insider trading and allegations that he earned $36 million in illicit profits double the amount previously alleged. The government signaled its intention to add the charges against billionaire Roger Rutnam in a memorandum asking a Manhattan federal court judge to revoke his bail. U.S. prosecutors said while the indictment in December alleged that Roger Rutnam was responsible for illicit profits of 17 million U.S. dollars, at this time the government believes that the total illicit gains attributable to Roger Rutnam's Illegal trading are at least approximately $36 billion. The memorandum went on to say the government plans to file a superseding indictment to expand the charges set forth against Raj Ratnam in the current indictment. It said the information came from an unidentified source to whom Raj Ratnam began making large payments in exchange for inside information in or about 2004. Prosecutors in the office of the Manhattan U.S. Attorney said in the memorandum to U.S. District Court Judge that these changed circumstances militate in favor of detaining Roger Rotnam rather than easing his bail conditions. A hearing is scheduled for Friday on bail. Roger Rotnam's lawyers have asked for his bail to be reduced to $20 million from $100 million. He has pleaded not guilty to the indictment and argued that evidence gathered through wiretaps violated his constitutional rights. Dr. A.J. Lewis, a co-author of the Duckworth-Lewis method of calculating the revised target of a side batting second in a rain-affected one-day international cricket matches, has arrived in Sri Lanka. He has arrived in the island to participate in the International Applied Statistics Conference 2010. The two-day meeting will open at the SLFI in Colombo on Friday. Dr. Tony Lewis is a retired senior lecturer of Oxford Brookes University. His research interests are refinements to the Duckport Lewis model of average runs scored in one day cricket with overs and wickets available. Expressing views on his arrival at the Katunaika International Airport, he had this to say. 
Yes, so I'm here, that, I'm here then as a guest of the uh, Applied Statistical Association of Sri Lanka and uh, of the Organisation of Professional Associations. I'm coming here to give a talk about the Dotworth Lewis method of uh, target resetting in one day cricket. As we uh, may know, it's got some very strong mathematical and statistical backgrounds, so the uh, academic world is very interested in how it works. I shall be here about 10 days altogether. Five days will cover the conference and then I will take about four days of relaxation and rest afterwards. Enjoy your nice, lovely, warm climate. <laughs> Blizzards sweep across England. To find more about it and other news overseas, it's Prime World.